How did the music program at GC influence your choice to go into music? Oh my goodness. I learned so much from Mr. Mr. Crawford and Miss Waters that I felt so prepared to be able to pursue studying music. With Miss Waters, I had all these amazing opportunities through chorale, through trio. There was a show choir back then in the day. Um, all these different things, this challenging music, this beautiful music, and her emphasis on not just performing what's on the page, but turning it into something. And then to be able to be in band with Mr. Crawford and get a totally different perspective and get to play an instrument with the group was very scary because I was not in band in middle school. And it was so enlightening and gave me a lot of confidence. And I also developed a better sense of counting and some of the... the theory elements as well from the band. What all were you involved in at GC? Oh my goodness. Um, I did a lot of things. Uh, at GC I did, I was in the chorale, I was in the Blue Wave marching band, and I think we did indoor drumline one year and I was a part of that. I was a part of trio. I was a part of the show choir that I think eventually transitioned into Tonal Combustion. Um, I did a couple of spring musicals. Um, I also started taking cello lessons when I was in high school. Um, before school, I participated in a daily, hour-long Bible study class every morning, all four years at like 6.30. Um, I was in the French club, but I don't remember that we really did anything, but there's a great picture in the yearbook about that. Um, and I was in National Honor Society, and I think I was the vice president one year of that. I was in Triumph Music Honor Society. I was in French Language Honor Society. Um, I was the president of the, whatever the literary club was that Ms. Callan did, and edited the Perihelion, which was a magazine that featured student work. And I think that's probably about it. If you could have changed one thing at GC while you were here, what would it have been? I think if I could have changed one thing, I think I would be an internal thing. I don't think there's anything sort of physical that I would change, but maybe, even though I was very involved, I guess maybe to enjoy it more and to practice more and to make more of the time because what you don't realize quite yet, and you will one day, is that while you're in school and while you're in college, you're in this tremendous safety bubble where you can experiment with your talents and try new things, and the worst thing that's gonna happen is you might get a bad grade. Or you might have to do some makeup work to make up for maybe something not quite going the way you thought it would, a project not going the way you thought it would. And when you get in the real world and you work in the creative industry, if you don't do things well, then that's it. There's your income gone. <laughs> so enjoy this time that you have to be creative and to explore your talents and to develop those and and not hold back on your abilities, but really stretch and see what you're capable of. What made you want to pursue a career in music? It's all I want to do. I don't know if that's a good answer or not, but I, I remember being in sort of 11th and 12th grade thinking, oh, maybe I'll be a literature teacher, or maybe I'll do this or that, but at the, at the end of the day I knew that music was what I wanted to do and that's what I wanted to pursue. What is your favorite memory of Gordon Central? I think my favorite memory of Gordon Central, and this is probably going to sound a little odd, um, but it's definitely the most vivid memory I have, 
is after graduation when everyone was walking out and just feeling so free and so prepared. And I loved high school and I loved going to Gordon Central and I'm really proud to say that I went to this school. Um, but that feeling of I can do anything afterwards was so powerful and I think it's because I felt so prepared from all the teachers and the different things that I've been involved in. Hail to thee, our alma mater, Gordon Central High. You will always love and cherish as the years go by. Guard us with thy knowledge, keep us in thy care. Hail to thee, our alma mater, for your love will share.